What's going on, Attack Squad? For anyone who doesn't know me or is new to my channel, my name is Roman Nicky, Mr. Anime 343, and today I want to start a discussion about fan service in anime. I know there are a lot of people out there that are disgusted by it, but by far, it's like the most popular thing when it comes to anime. Some people. See, fan service is unnecessary TNA or if you actually really want to go down that route for those who actually don't know it actually refers to tits and ass when fan service is just looking at good looking at good characters like you know beautiful sexy women or you know nice hunky dudes those people just don't understand that fan service doesn't technically mean just that. You know, sex appeal. From my personal experience, fan service is a way of the creators saying, thank you for supporting this project, and without you, this project would not have been made possible. These people out there, the ones that actually are, you know, dissing on fan service and stuff like that, they don't have any freaking leg in the race when it comes to watching anime, supporting it, or, above all, just enjoying it for what it is. I know some YouTubers harp on about how bad they want to say anime is bad because of fan service. Well, to burst the, these people's little safe space bubbles... <laughs> They're only doing this to pander to the normies and tourists that keep invading our hobbies because they're the ones that are willingly shilling out all kinds of money for these, like, you know, content creators instead of supporting people like us, the ones that do like anime and the ones that actually support it. And this is why I actually started my YouTube channel because I wanted to actually get my voice out and show that not all anti-tubers are, you know, narcissistic jerks. To get this a buck fifty, most of the people focus solely solely on seasonal, shonen, or popular anime at the time, and then just shit on it for no apparent reason. In fact, you know how the whole song and dance goes. Oh, freaking Demon Slayer is bad because, you know, they're sexually objectifying Nezuko and she's actually supposed to be a little teenage girl. She's a fictional character, for Christ's sakes. These fans, or should I say fake fans of Taurus, don't really care about anime or Japan. Because anime was meant for Japan and it's like one of Japan's greatest exports. They focus solely on Japanese people first. That's what anime was meant to do. And then they export it to us, but somehow with localization teams and, you know, the constant influx of, like, you know, aunties and stuff, they're the ones actually freaking ruining anime and, you know, our love of it. So these fake activists would usually show their xenophobia, or as my friends and I call it, Nahangophobia, which is actually, you know, being racist towards Japanese people or the country of Japan or the Japanese culture in general. But back to fan service, shall we? People don't understand that fan service isn't limited to sexual tropes. It goes into different variations as well. Whether it's through fight scenes or a trope you really like, it also counts as fan service. It doesn't have to be exactly sex appeal to actually count as fan service. But people don't even understand that anime isn't <sighs> fan service isn't the only thing that's limited isn't only limited to anime. Heck, you can know the tropes and running gags from from what you might see in a TV show or a cartoon. That also counts as a part of fan service. Like, if you actually freaking watch, like, you know, your favorite TV shows, 
and your favorite character is actually doing something or says like a specific line that really catches your interest that counts as fan service but people don't understand that and people are just using fan service as a nitpick to tear down anime because they are just offended by looking at beautiful women trust me nothing makes me more annoyed than listening to some shit on an anime to someone shit on anime because they think some girl stripping down and showing her birthday suit or having her fun facts getting squeezed is a form of misogyny. And that word is starting to lose all meaning because people think that women are being oppressed. Hello? What about men? They're actually being freaking objectified and yet, you know, where's the double standards in that? Do people not understand that this rules for thee, but not for me. Bullcrap is actually still going on. In fact, these are fictional characters. They don't exist. Unless there's a freaking way to make them real, which I personally doubt would be possible. And I'll never actually see that ever happen in my lifetime. I don't know if it might be possible in the near future, but let's just keep that in the realm of fiction. But people choose to keep saying fan service and anime is bad because of X, Y, Z. You really think for one second I was born yesterday? Fan service is meant to be the glue that brings the show together. And I don't want to hear people coming into my comments, coming after me for supporting misogyny and that I object to women as sexual objects. Because one, I respect women and those or guys let alone people that actually respect me in return. Because there's an old saying. Respect is earned. Never given. Two. Anime is just a form of storytelling. And relating those stories through art. And it also serves as like you know. Advertisements for the manga. Some of the anime might be better. Than, than the manga. And sometimes the manga actually is much more better than the anime. It depends on how it's properly done. And three, I have dealt with aunties and their sh shenanigans for far too long. And quite frankly, I'm just fed up with this. So the bottom line is this. Fan service in any show, no matter if it's movies, anime, video games, comics, literature, modern or classic, or any form of entertainment, fan service is meant to appease the people that are willing to spend their hard-earned money for some escapism. And if you can't find, if you can't stay a certain hobby, then go find another one. Well, that's it. That's going to do it for me, you guys. If you guys really enjoyed this, be sure to comment down below. And smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell for future updates. Also, if you want to support me and my content, go find Patreon. It will be linked down in the description. And as always, guys, just remember these four things. Respect the wife's of fan service. Enjoy your fandoms. Embrace your degeneracy as long as it's legal. Doesn't hurt anyone else. Enemies freedom. Until next time, guys. I'm Mr. Enemy 343. God. Anime. Mecha and BT Waifu. Fucking speed.